What's up guys, Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. We're making cauliflower fried rice today on the teppanyaki. Yep, I said it guys, excellent stuff. We're gonna do it on the wolf. Let's get right down to business. Let's open this guy up. I have it on nice and high. We want it nice and high for this guy. We're gonna use a few ingredients. Let's start it. Let's drizzle a little olive oil right here. Get it going, okay? Next, we'll add our aromatics. I'm gonna go with red onion, some green pepper, and some chopped garlic. Get that all going. Tapinaki is great, man. You don't have to go anywhere. You know, it's right here in your home. You can use it for abundance of things and have a ton of fun with it. Best part about this is you have to use the service area. Don't build high, build out, okay? That's what I mean by this is I'm gonna make this nice and flat so the surface area does the cooking. The higher we go, the cooler it'll get. We're gonna sweat these out just till translucent probably about, you know, 40 seconds or something like that, because they're popping now a lot, okay? Talk about our next crew, we have our cauliflower already grated already, and it's blanched and dried. So that'll go right in, kind of save us a nice step. We're gonna add some edamames to this, finish it with some soy and some sambal, a little chili sauce. So it's gonna have a little bit of heat, a ton of flavor, okay? Now we're gonna add in our cauliflower. Like I said, go left to right, use up all the surface area. This wolf one has a two burner teppanyaki, so we're using both burners on high, you know, which is great, gives us a ton of control is what we need. My favorite part, I'm gonna put this in my little square, you know, get it all even. We're gonna leave it for about a minute or so, so it crusts up and really gets the moisture out of here. We're gonna give it a nice flip. Look at that, great caramelization, the veggies are looking great. We're gonna move this guy all around, start the next layer, and now we're gonna add our egg, okay? So we just gotta get a little spot. And the best way, it might be a little bit tricky, but the best way is to create a well right here in the center, and that's where we're gonna scramble our egg, okay? A little bit more oil, put our egg in, Right. And now we'll scramble the center and make sure this egg is cooked very well. And now we'll fold it in after it's cooked. See? Fried rice is so fun on the teppanyaki, man. One of my favorites. Nice and easy. And now at this stage, guys, we're dry enough to where all the cauliflower, the moisture is out of it. So now we're gonna add our edamames, perfect. All right, we're gonna add soy sauce. So I got a quarter cup, season it up very nicely. We're gonna add three tablespoons of chili. So sambal is what I'm using here. And all that salt, all that heat, we gotta add some black pepper to kind of even it off, okay? Little bit of parsley for some fun and color. Open this guy, spread this guy like this. And being that you have the teppanyaki inside, you could serve it just like this. You could serve some teriyaki chicken over top, however you're gonna do it. But if you're just going like this, I like to put it just like this and drizzle a little yum yum sauce all over it, just like that. All right, crew, we're gonna put this to low because it's time to eat cauliflower fried rice. This is amazing. I hope you make this at home on your teppanyaki. Chef's gonna try a spoonful. Ooh, look at that, hot and good. Excellent crunch, excellent flavor, super easy. Made in minutes on the teppanyaki. Enjoy this crew. Mm.